In it. Warm front down to the seventh foot in the Nebraska. And cold front from the north of Mexico down the Gulf of Mexico down for Western Pound, Florida. Down. Up in the Appalachians and up in the Midland States and the station in front up in the New York and up in Quebec. Low pressure in Western Mexico, seven out of Eastern Washington, Northern Montana, and Eastern New York and DC. High pressure in Northern Mexico, Western Oklahoma and Texas, Colorado, South Dakota, and Southwestern Orange, Southeastern Manitoba here. 62 degrees that temperature now in Boston, it's 66 in Washington, DC. 47 in Atlanta, 84 in Miami, 57 in Brownsville, 51 in Dallas, Texas, 41 in Kansas City, 31 in Chicago, 24 in Minneapolis, 50 in Great Falls, 48 in Seattle, 54 in San Francisco, 56 in Los Angeles, it's 47 in Salt Lake City, 49 in Denver, and 44 in Albuquerque. Alright, let's take a look at our map situation here. Current conditions around the region, we got 63 in Boston, 62 in Bedford, 63 in Beverly, 58 in Gloucester, 61 in Fitchburg, 59 in Worcester, 60 in Sturbridge, 60 in Webster, 64 in Milford, 62 down in Norwood, 67 in Taunton, 63 in New Bedford, 66 in Falcon, 61 in Provincetown, 59 in Chatham, 58 in Marfa's Vineyard, 56 in Nantucket, 55 out in Cape Cod Bay, 54 in Boston Harbor, 55 in Falcon, 34 in Westley, 57 in Warwick, 64 in Spitfield, it's 62 in Springfield, 59 in Hammer, 62 in Greenfield, 61 in Garner. 60 in Pittsfield, 65 in North Adams, 65 in Albany, 66 in Bainton, Vermont, 63 in Keene, 61 in Concord, New Hampshire, 60 in Manchester, New Hampshire, 63 in Nashville, New Hampshire, 65 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 49 in Off New Hampshire, 62 in Winslow, 61 in Hartford, 16 in Meriden and Denbury, 59 in Waterbury and Bridgeport, 57 in Waven, 57 in Isla, 53 in New York City, and 55 in Monta, here. Be an indoor program in Satan, roughly go Let's take a look at our short range Bible discussion around the country here. Rain and thunderstorms for the East Coast on Tuesday, and seasonally cold across the central and eastern United States, and more rain and snow showers return to the west. Widespread showers and thunderstorms are in the forecast for the deep south to the northeast United States on Tuesday as moisture from the Gulf of Mexico to consider events northward in the region around about a strong cold front. I did as found humidity and temperatures are more typical in May and early June than in April as this also support periods of moderate heavy rainfall across most of the southern and eastern United States at a cold front. Moves are up by Wednesday morning and after several days of very warm temperatures by mid April centers and much colder mass of settling into the central and eastern United States beyond the aforementioned strong cold front. By that temperature falls are expected as the front passes along with gusty northwest winds and no mass phase warnings are in effect from the seven planes that are middle act with overnight lows expected to fall in the mid 20s to the lower 30s and seasonally cold weather with forecast for the way in say Well, in addition to the cold weather, expect rain to change over the snow of Tuesday night across the northeast where minor accumulations are possible, mainly across the higher elevations where temperature will be plenty cold enough for snow. Snow melt and from rainfall, however, the man finally may cause some flooding issues for parts of New England. Right, the next storm system passes over the central and northern Rocky Mountains into the central United States on Wednesday. That did occasionally butter snow spectrum from central Minnesota to northern Michigan across the Pacific Northwest. Conditions should be unsettled with moist onshore flow resulting in rain and mountain snow showers. And temperatures along the west coast should be close to seasonal average in the middle of the week. Here, forecast discussion here in New England here, and it shows like this. A sound cold front will bring a mix of gusty winds, soaking rain, and possibly even a brief chance of a wintry mix before ending during an early morning hours tomorrow. High pressure building and well bring dry but unseasonably chilly air to the region Wednesday, Wednesday night. Dry weather conditions Thursday into the first part of Friday were moderate afternoons up in but remaining chilly along the coast. A couple of weak waves of low pressure may bring a round of two of rain shots sometime Friday night and Saturday. Trying to turn it into something more positive. One of the one of the first responders to the moment was was the brave fire crew at Engine 33, Ladder 15. Sharp cold front pushing across mid-state New York plans way at 11 a.m. Update, which can be seen within WSR 8D radar collectors. This final will push east this afternoon across New England overnight exit in offshore after midnight. It's associated dynamics and forcing blood vet golf moisture northwards resulting in a hoary stroke of rain across the region and the potential for isolated thunderstorms pushing up like can't sign for shelf to across Atlantic but also see an application of winds across the region specific details and threats are outlined below the, and every rain flood in the satellite and else mentioned this is clear outlines the segments of the vent on the models deep moisture surging up the east coast with the principal little amount of water and M-93 for standard elevation above normal the standard release near Washington DC Delta Port of observer 1.64 inch precipitable water amount the four fires that are observing the area for this area as a full front slides so Easing in time pressure offshore, expect the pressure gradient down flying, resulting in a low level jet by afternoon 
medium between 89 miles by the converter nodes that which will be across some New England and they argue that the upper level jet that's uh, clear. Ascent combined with the frontogenetical lip of subtropical moisture. Can consider and can active elements along with a steep middle of the lap rates yield to likelihood of what we'll see widespread wind with a fine line along the head of the front of the bed heavier showers and actually thunderstorms. The flood watch continues with a high and Warden has a heavy rain event along with a significant potential flood in anticipated area of rain. For rain fall amounts around 2 inches are expected all over the southern New England with local higher amounts around 3 inches. But to rain may fall in a short window that is down to roughly 6,000 and noted by the slight whisper to the BPC for excess rainfall. Besides, rain points along with flood warnings by the river flooding is expected with a connected protected Merrimack River basin, some of which are swollen to the upstream soil melt. Some river points may be reached a moderate flood in an expected area. Impacts are small with the tributaries or streams, especially if those which are where now on flesh with those wind interests on long lower reaches of Connecticut River should pay attention to the latest forecast and current water levels. Also anticipate upper and forward range flooding, especially for the intense urban quarters such as I-95, 195 around Providence, with the expectation of barn or water along area roadways which will affect the drive home commute, especially with every rain threat falling potentially at a short window of time. Remember the ideology section for the discussion of time and points all about the flood and sea. Please see the coastal flooding section below for coastal flood threats. This is every time we get a chance to talk to or support Winds with application of L, local jet and consumer preservation drag and potential boundary litter. Make elements and processes despite the starting version for 12Z channel center to be a threat of strong southerly wind gusts exceeding about 50 miles per hour, especially with heavy rain and thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. Wind adversity continues across central and east portions of southern New England expansion to the Connecticut River Valley. It's still being considered providing upstream trends along with the front wheel. Need a monitor to fair to Iowans, but we'll handle this fact with short fuse warnings. When we mix flash freeze potential, the plan and the rain will move east to the region along with cold front after midnight and the early morning hours tomorrow. Having given a stream in this front, quarter will be probably moving from the SFC mid levels during a time that be as possibly a change over the period as some sleet snow from west to east, even with a low end potential of some accumulation of west and north of the Route 2 corridor. This will combine with a rapid temperature drop near the below freezing on wet roadways leading to the potential of slippery conditions leading in the Wednesday morning commute with a cable to be the race between the cold and dry. Except how much snowfall in the community, but there'll be a lower end chance of light quoting an inch some spots between West and Irish trains as candidates as it can increase both the depth and speed which way the cold air comes in before the preservation of tree lands. Temperature is about a cloud of cover which look make it run at 70 degrees today across the east where breaking through the sun is possible. Especially since they start in the low 60s, but it will work. Where the clouds being placed on all day temperatures a bit lower this morning, all that can remain in the 60s. The mid 60s ran 6 back. And here we are. Every rain this afternoon at Urban and Port Drain and Street Fun and Minor Rain and Stream Fun and Possible. Messy evening rush hour. Strong winds this afternoon and night. Some of the wind gusts up to 45 to 55 miles per hour. Isolated power which is possible. One three participation. Rain may end as a brief period of snow and sleep toward daybreak Wednesday. Low probability of a small accumulation of ice is about possible. North Force Center's 895 Wednesday morning commute. And today, guys, we're going to see around 6 to 7 for Boston. 65 for Worcester. 65 for Albany. 65 for Rutland. 68 for Concord. 65 for Portland, Maine. 68 for Hartford. And 64 for New York City. In today's rainfall, today, today for Wednesday, we're going to see the jackpot of the So only 2.54 inches for Hartford, 2.62 inches for Worcester, 1.57 inches for Boston, 1.11 inches for Concord, 1.02 inches for Portland, Maine, 1.06 inches for Rutland, 1.47 inches for Albany, 1.5 inches for New York. And this could be, in the yellow shading, this could be possible isolated amounts up to 3 inches of rain possible from Central Wyndham County and Connecticut down to Sturbridge up the A4 border and around the Worcester County. So this will be the this will be where the most rain will fall. Dams between about three inches above Central Worcester County and Danford. Central Wyndham and Danford. Seven. Worcester County and Sturbridge here. All right, let's just take a look at our do you feel like you're kind of missing that, or do you want to do this as a personal thing for you guys? No. These guys said the journey was just the way Wind advisory is in effect from now until midnight tonight. Location in the central and eastern Massachusetts as well. All right down. Winds out of the south at 23 miles per gust up to 45 miles per gust. Man, 
50 miles per hour will be possible at times, especially with February and then any tennis on developed this afternoon and evening. Time in this afternoon early overnight. Impacts winds of this magnitude may lead to down tree limbs and small trees and minor structural damage will be also at possible. You have some athletic power outages there. And flood watch continues by a portion of Northern Connecticut and Minnesota and Southern New Hampshire Redown. 521 and widespread rain will have been today. Showers and athletic tennis storms yield a storm total of rainfall about 2 inches. Local air match about 3 inches and in Wednesday morning. The heaviest rain is expected this afternoon continuing for midnight. And it's made Rainfall on the top of all with a swollen river basin. Potential for the Connecticut, Merrimack, and Pudcock River Valley will result in minor river flooding with the potential for moderate river flooding. Not with local streams and rivers will be impacted as well as with the potential for minor flooding. Never signal concern to me, potential for urban poor. Strange flooding with the heaviest of rain expected this afternoon and evening. There will be likely going to be a fact with a pond and a water long area roadways for the travel and commute. A flood watch for the means there will be a potential flooding based on current forecast. You should monitor the later forecast. Be alert for possible flood warnings. The days limited are areas prone to the flood. should be prepared to take actions with flooding about. Day one, day that flood watch and wind bars day two for seven, Wednesday for Monday. Flood watch. All the way. Future cast before we go to the seven day forecast here. Whatever they get on that. But that's nice. Wow. Well, you know, the core strength that it takes to keep your balance and everything alone. Uh, Let's uh, take a look at the timing of the rain here. Now. To tire them out, but um, as I'm saying, it, it, it's a little bit of Now. It's going to be heavy rain from central and western county and western and central Massachusetts just going to get down for the St. New York here. Four to two o'clock. Now, heavy rain will approach much of the central and western Massachusetts up in Connecticut and Vermont and the rain down for the upstate New York and central New York. And then four o'clock we will get into the rain action here. There's the lulls around Hartford and down for southern Worcester County and down for the night mass back quarter from Worcester to Boston here around four o'clock. Then six o'clock more heavy rain then a little natural from the southeast of Massachusetts around Cape Cod Islands and a lot of yellows, or oranges, and reds. There's a heavy band rain from down to 9 1 quarter from Springfield down to Hartford down to New Haven down to Central Long Island there. And 8 10 o'clock, this is where we're going to get the heaviest rain with them. Thunder here and these are sleeting from what Berkshire's up to New Hampshire down to 7 2 New York and New Jersey down to Pennsylvania. And then the rain's going to. Be Continue to be here around 10 o'clock and then gonna be back light way about 2 a.m. and we're gonna get into the eastern Massachusetts we'll get into the snow by about 445 and 6 way and the snow and I'll be getting out of about 8 figure with some snow up and down east me. Oh wait, let's take a look at our seven day forecast. Go like this. Yeah, don't worry, we're not this afternoon, rain with thunderstorms also possible after 5 p.m. Petri Park, Heiner, 64 degrees south, with about 18 miles per hour, good signs, 43 miles per hour. Chance of dissipation, 9%, new rain, volume, and spring, and quarter, and inch possible. Tonight, rain and possibly a thunderstorm at 4, 4 a.m. Then rain likely, thunderstorms, blue, disgusting winds, and every rain, there is about before 10 p.m. Low around 36 degrees, breeze with us, with about 11 to 20 miles per hour, coming to north west after midnight. Winds could go side, 39 miles per hour, chance of dissipation, 9%, new rain, volume, between 1 and 2 inches possible. Wednesday, chance of showers, until 4, 7 a.m., Patrick, Sun, Scott, and Greg, we're coming Sky Diner, 46 degrees. Northwest wind about 15 to 18 miles per size, 36 miles per chance of persuasion, 30 percent. New information match with less than 10 minutes possible. When's it at? Cloudy to clear sky, low 25 degrees, north wind about 5 to 9 miles per hour. Thursday, sand sky down here, 40 degrees, east wind about 8 to 10 miles per hour. Thursday, night, my sky, low 31 degrees, Friday, both sand sky down here, 53 degrees. Friday night, chance of showers, most sky sky, low 37 degrees, chance of preservation 4%. Saturday, chance of showers, put the sand sky down here, 53 degrees, chance of preservation 50%. Friday, chance of showers, most sky sky, low 39 degrees, chance of preservation 30%. On Sunday, put the sand sky down here, 56 degrees. Sunday night, button sky sky, sky, low 39 degrees, for Monday, put the sand sky down here, 57 degrees. Peters, what a phase of the and the need to change them and update them and as the afternoon a rainy you need to get funny and tap. Good page, you have a good day, what a good positive attitude here. One that's uh, you know a running 